Hello everyone, my name is Andres, I'm part of the Comap Technical Support Team and in this video I'm going to present you information about a compatibility between NT and NTC controllers with the Intelligent 1000 controllers. These control solutions are compatible for power management functionality as well as for load and var sharing. The controllers must be connected through the CAN2 line and we must use specifically the port CAN2A in the Intelligent 1000 controllers. To ensure the proper communication between these different types of controllers, we must set the intercontroller communication mode to 32C mode. Thirty-two C is the default communication mode in the NT and NTC controllers. Once the communication mode is configured, we can go and check if the communication between the controllers is actually working. For the Intelligent One Thousand, we can come to uh, values from the connection on it in Intelliconfig, and under Info, and then CAN sixteen. We can check if our controller, Intelligent 1000 with address 1, which is the one we just configured, uh, is actually communicating with the other controllers in the system. In this case, we can see we have controller with address 5, 6, 7, and 8 uh, communicating with our Intelligent 1000 controllers. In the anti controllers, we can do the same. We can come to values, then we can go under info. And on CAN 16, we can check that our Intelligent 1000 controller with address 1 is communicating with the NT and NTC controllers we have here in the system. Compatibility between these type of controllers that support also sharing binary and analog signals via CAN communication by using the shared and distributed modules in the controllers. For the NT controllers, we can add uh, the shared or distributed modules in Genconfig, under Modules tab, we can find the virtual shared modules and we will find here the shared uh, modules for uh, binary and analog signals as well as the distributed modules. In the Intelligent 1000 controller, we can find and configure these modules in the controller configuration. Here, under Modules tab, we can add the virtual modules and here we can see again the distributed signal modules as well as the shared uh, signals modules. So basically the Intelligent 1000 controllers will be able to share or send signals via CAN communication using these virtual modules, shared or the distributed. And in the same way, the Intelligent 1000 controllers can receive signals coming from other controllers in the system using also the shared or distributed input modules. When using the distributed modules, the Intelligent 1000 controllers can receive signals from only 8 distributed modules from other Intelligent 1000 controllers. And then the Intelligent 1000 will receive signals from all the 8 distributed modules that can be on NT or NTC controllers in the system. Again, talking about distributed uh, modules, the NT or NTC controllers will receive signals from the first A distributed modules in the Intelligent 1000 controllers. I hope you find this information useful and if any questions, feel free to reach out to the technical support team.